Dumpling Dreams: How Joyce Chen Brought the Dumpling from Beijing to Cambridge. Written by Carrie Clicker, illustrated by Katie Wu, and read by Melinda Zing. A quiet room. One ink-stained girl, determined to perfect each curl. Her writing brush sweeps down the rows. A scrumptious scent slips past her nose. Dumplings! Gia's favorite treat. Took hands her once, still warm to eat. You're old enough. Come learn from me. She climbs a stool so she can see. E R Sun Cook rolls the dough, a dab of stuffing, and pinch it closed. One, two, three. To Gia, shame. Her dumpling isn't quite the same. She practices from spring to fall. Dumplings, noodles, sweet rice balls. Next New Year, Kia's greatest prize is in Cook's proud, approving eyes. Light the lanterns, dragon dances. Try a riddle, take your chances. Kia's grown enough to play, but cooking's better any day. Dragon boats race down the lake. Kia has songs to make. Tie them tight with five bright strings. Praise from father. Her heart sings. She loves to learn. A joy each day. Let's call her Joyce. The teachers say she likes the name. Gia is gone. She and she is Joyce from that day on. A red silk dress. Tangyuan to eat. Embroidered slippers on her feet. Joyce becomes a loving wife. New husband, city, and new life. Red eggs celebrate boy. Dreams of mooncakes, luck, and joy. Then a daughter joins the three. A plump, delicious family. Troubles come. War in the news. The heart of China split in two. Days of worry. Nights of fear. Even dumplings taste of tears. Is it safe? How long before her family is hurt by China's war? Joyce packs up and sails away from all her dumpling dreams and days. Two weeks in half a world spin by. New words to learn, strange food to try. When she's scared, heart thumps, throat tight. The smell of dumplings set things right. Cambridge bursts with students learning. Far from China, filled with yearning, Joyce invites them. Come and eat, sharing news and homemade treats. Two small chairs will soon be three. A new son joins the family, stretching noodles, straight and thin, to wish a long life and luck for them. School bake sale, a nervous day. Joyce stacks cookies on a tray. Egg rolls too, a crispy tower. Sauce for dipping, sweet and sour. Rows of muffins, pies and cake. Were her egg rolls a mistake? Time to leave. Face pink with shame. People call out Joyce's name. Delicious egg rolls. I eat four. We're sold out. Can you make more? Cheeks and bellies stuffed up with bliss. In Cambridge, no one cooks like this. Friends and family all agree a restaurant is what Joyce needs. A perfect spot on Concord Street where Cambridge friends can stop and eat. It only needs one small touch more. Her name in red above the door. Grand opening. Joyce feels so proud. Tables full. A hungry crowd. No one tries her favorite treat. Chop suey is all what they want to eat, but dumplings aren't gluey stew. I need to call them something new. The name she picks make people smile. Ravioli, pecking style. Dumplings dance right out the door. Chefs, she needs a dozen more. But cook like Joyce, no one knows how. Joyce must be a teacher now. Measure, test, and taste each bite till the recipe is right. Write them down. The pile grows. Cook a cookbook and 
a TV show. Ni hao, come and cook with me my favorite dumpling recipe. Success has come for all to see. An author, a chef, and a mom of three. Days filled with what Joyce loves to do. Her dumpling dreams have all come true. The end.